Welcome to Darling Adventures. I'm Janice Loria and this is First Steps, a series of basic sewing tutorials. In this video, we're going to talk about buying and cutting fabric. Alright, when you're heading to the fabric store, you're going to see row upon row of bolts of fabric. This is a bolt of fabric. It is 44 inch fabric, and I know that because it's 22 inches tall. There's others that come out to 54 inches, so they're going to be slightly taller. So what happens is they take, I believe, about 15 yards of fabric. They fold it lengthwise in half, and they wind it on this bolt. So you actually are going to get two layers there when you have it cut. When you ask for, let's say, a half a yard of fabric, they're going to unroll this and cut it at the half yard. So that gives you 18 inches by 44 inches of fabric. A quarter yard would be 9 inches by 44 inches. And you can get as much length as you want. Um, so what you're asking for is the length. Like if you say, oh, I need two and a half yards, they're going to go two and a half yards out and cut there. Now, if you're getting into quilting, um, you're going to hear the term fat quarters. So a fat quarter is when they've taken a yard of fabric and they've opened it up and they've cut it in four pieces. So you have a slightly larger piece. This is 22 inches by 18 inches as opposed to 9 inches by 44. And you can do a lot more with this chunk of fabric than you could do with a 9 inch by 44 inch piece. So that is a fat quarter. Another option is a fat eighth and that's the same thing. They've just taken that fat quarter and they've cut it in half so you've got 9 inches by 22 inches. When you're cutting um, there's several options and we're going to cover them all. First we're going to discuss cutting with scissors. Scissors are uh, what you're going to want to use to cut when you are working with um, curves of any sort, um, pattern pieces with notches, um, any kind of small detail you're going to need scissors to get in there. When using scissors to cut out pattern pieces you want to make sure you're taking nice long cuts instead of little tiny snippy cuts because that's going to give you a jagged edge. Um, Another thing to keep in mind is to make sure your fabric is as flat as possible. If you were to pick it up to really kind of get under it and get a hold of it, you're going to distort the shape of the fabric and that's going to then affect the quality of your finished product. So we're going to want to take long cuts and keep that fabric as flat as possible on the cutting table. So those are long cuts as opposed to little snippy cuts like this. Another option when it comes to cutting fabric is to use a rotary cutter. I have three here. Um, they all have some sort of safety mechanism to keep, your, keep you from cutting yourself with this blade and these blades should be really sharp so that you can get nice good clean cuts from your fabric. The next thing you're going to need is a no-slip ruler. Um, one of these clear ones that you'll be able to see the fabric underneath and you'll line up the fabric with all these different marks on here. The inches are marked, half inches, quarter and eighth inches are marked and you've even got some of the uh, degrees that you'll need for different cutting like 60 degrees or 45 degrees. Those are marked on there. And you're going to need a self-healing mat. You wouldn't want to cut on your table um, or even a piece of cardboard that's going to damage your blade, damage your table. The self-healing mat um, has everything you need to, to make good clean cuts and to protect your surface. So we have a piece of fabric here that we need to cut. First, um, we want to pre-shrink it, so we need to wash it and dry it. And then you'll see that this is all sorts of wrinkly. Um, I'm going to want to iron this next to make sure that I have the nicest, clean, cleanest cuts. Otherwise, the edges will be jagged and it's not going to match up with the rest of your pattern piece or your patch and um, things are going to look messy down the line. So we're going to iron this first before we cut it. So we're ready um, to start using our rotary cutter. The first thing we need to do is to get um, one straight edge and to do that we are going to start with the fold down here towards us and we're going to line it up on any one of these lines. And we're going to take our no slip ruler and we're going to put this on top and make sure to look through and we can see that our fold is lined up with um, any one of these marks. We're not actually measuring, we're just um, lining up. 
So the next thing is to release our blade. I'm going to press this down with my left hand, keeping my fingers away from the edge where the blade's going to be. And then I'm just going to run the blade along the ruler. And that removes that extra fabric. And then of course I just automatically released the safety mechanism without even thinking about it because I've made it a habit. So now we have a beautiful straight edge all the way down this half yard piece of fabric. So now we can um, start cutting pieces out of this. Let's say we need a 10 inch piece by 20 inches or whatever the case may be. We're gonna line up our fabric over here on the left hand side, that cut that I just made. And then I'm going to then measure across to whatever um, length that I need. And I'm gonna, what I'm doing is covering up, this is gonna be the piece that I'm using. So I wanna cover it up and protect it with this, um, with the no slip ruler. And that way, if I veer off, I've veered off into the piece I'm not using and I'm protecting the piece that I will be using. Because that does happen sometimes, especially towards the end, you'll be rolling along and whoops, and then you've got a chunk missing out of your fabric and that's no good. So just keep um, the firm pressure, the fingers out of the way, and then just run along your fabric. The third option that we're going to look at today is ripping fabric. Um, this makes a lot of people nervous. I always flinched when my mother did it when I was a child, but um, it actually is great for getting your fabric on grain. And what that means is sometimes with, when the factories mass produce the fabric, it gets a little wonky and you could be cutting um, slightly off grain and that's going to add some stretch to your pieces. And um, sometimes that doesn't matter, but there are going to be times when you're going to want to make sure that you're on grain. So ripping fabric is going to help you do that. Okay, so when we're ready to rip our fabric, what we're going to do is come to the selvage, measure how much of a, of a piece we need, and snip the selvage. Okay? Then you're going to take a deep breath and you're literally just going to rip the fabric. Okay, so this has given you an edge. Now it looks distorted, and it may be a little bit, but if you iron that out, you're going to be good to go. And then this edge is going to give you, like I said, that that's now the, the straightest possible edge you could get that is on grain. Rotary cutters may seem intimidating, but you'll never regret learning how to use them. Visit DarlingAdventures.com for more sewing tutorials, videos, and ebooks. Thanks for watching, and may all your adventures be Darling Adventures.